Salute, bonjour. So in today's video, I got the idea of making a POV style of my 85 millimeter Sony lens f1.8. Now, if you haven't watched already, I actually made a review on this lens and I'm gonna link it somewhere on the screen so you can go check it out. But I actually just got done doing a photo shoot with this lens and I was so amazed by the quality of this lens that I got the idea of, I just make a POV style. Without further talking, let's just switch to POV mode. Here we go, POV style. I got the 85 right here. I got the Sony A7S III. I know some like to say the Sony A7S III isn't the best choice for photography, but you know what? I beg to differ. I think it's actually fairly good for what I need. Anyways, this video's not about that. Let's start getting right into the filming or photos. So used to filming, always saying filming. I got an ND filter on, by the way, because the sunlight is kind of eh. I know I can probably just bump the uh, shutter speed up, but I got an ND filter on. I'm going to use the ND filter. Let's see, I like this statue right here. One, two, three, go. Let me see if I can just crank this up. Let's see how that looks. I'll just crank it up. Mm. I'll probably just add some more exposure in post maybe. So I got my um, my shutter speed at 1 over 800. I got my ISO at 640 and I'm all the way down wide open to F1.8 because I want that nice creamy blurry background. So let's see how these turn out. Let me see if I can get these flowers. Well, you know what? Let me just get a photo of these actual flowers. I kind of like the way these flowers look. Just try that out. Got to back up because the 85 is so close. Oh, there it go. Look at that nice, delicious, blurred out background. Like, what photographer doesn't love his backgrounds blurred out? It's just mwah, exquisite. Let's see. How about this beautiful part? Let's see what I can find. Cause you know, if you know me, if you don't know me, new to the channel, I am not a photographer, but I really like this lens. And another thing, I do not like landscape photography. And I know this probably is that's not necessarily landscape photography. This is more street photography, but I am just, hold on. I, I'm, I'm focused on this photo. One, two, three, that look good. I primarily just like, I need subjects like in my frame. Like I like to particularly do a photo like of someone who like I already know like what they're gonna do, like a model or somebody. I don't really like having to be on the hunt like this. Cause you know, I'm just not a photographer, but you know what? In this video I am. And I hope you guys like my photography skills. <laughs> Put them to the, the test. I don't, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Maybe if I can, maybe if I, let me see. If I get low. Let me try this, let me see this. It's probably, it looks okay. One, two, three, boop. Let me take my screen out. Oh, here it goes, let me try this. Let me get it right here. Uh, one, two, three, boop. See how that looks, who knows, I don't know. Okay, let's get back to it. And another thing also for me, like when it comes to photography and stuff, I love all my shots nice and compressed. I don't really like wide angle shots. That's why I hardly ever take any photos with my 24 millimeter. Again, unless it's like a view that I really, really want my subject to be like tiny compared to the view. But I don't know. I really like my shots compressed and tight. So it's like a lot of these photos I take in this video, you might see me like not even use them because I just like tight compressed shots. Like that's just me. That's just my style of photography. If I'm gonna choose to do photography, I like my subject to look big. I like my background to be pulled closer. I just like all that. Let me see, there's a guy sitting right here on a bench. Let me see if I can sneak a pic of him. It's like a little stalker over here, sneaking pictures. Let me sneak a pic of this guy. <laughs> Let's see, I think I'll look fire if I do it like this. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Who knows, we'll see. We'll see how this stuff looks. I always feel so bad though, it's so weird like when I go and just take random pictures of people without them even knowing like I'm in a bush or something. In a time like this, I wish I had a zoom lens so I can be like super, super far out. Like, like a little sniper ninja so people can't see me. <laughs> and it's like even more awkward like when you're taking a photo of them and they turn around and look at you and make eye contact. I guess it's even more awkward. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get like a car. I kind of want to do a photo of a car. There's a parking garage that I know of that's right up here i'm gonna see if i can get a uh photo of it if there are any like nice cars over there 
That's all right. Man, POV street photography. This is my first time like ever doing something like this. So I hope this video does not come out to be a total fail because, oh, there a Mustang over there. So I am not a POV street photographer. I'm not a photographer like that in general. Let's see if I can get this, this big tree. Try to get this big tree right here. Let's see, one, two, three. Hmm. Yeah. If this video ends up turning out to be boring, just know I tried. <laughs> I really tried. It's my first time doing this. I, you know what I should have done, actually? I might do it. If this video actually is boring, but I might do it, I might make like a part two or something. And I might record me doing a photo shoot with a model. So you guys can see like how, cause I just, I don't know if I said it earlier in the video, but I literally just got done doing a photo shoot with a model. And that's exactly where and why I got this idea from. But I didn't think about it until later, <laughs> until after the photo shoot. I'm like, dang, I should have got a POV style. But you know what, when in doubt, this video doesn't come out the way that I envisioned it or the way that I wanted it. I'm going to at least show you the capability of the photos I took when I took the model shoot because those photos look really, really, really good. Like really, really good. And they just worthy of the being seen. Look at this guy over here. I might get a photo of him with this little coat on. He look, he look kind of good in that shot. I might get a shot of him, bro. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a POV style of him. Woo, come on, focus where he leaves. There we go, one, two, three. Woo. Let's see if I can get this fountain right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, the sun is harsh. It is not the greatest. Let's see it. Point right. right, let me fix the GoPro. Hopefully y'all can see this. Um, bam. There it goes. Let me see, there's a, uh, there's a lady walking up. Let's see if I can get her. Ugh. Let's see. Before it's too late. Let's see, where's she going? There she go, there she go. There she go, blocked on. Snoop sniper, look at that. She don't even know I'm taking a photo of her. The sniper skills. She didn't even see it coming, guys. I want you guys to drop in a comment. They don't see it coming. Sniper shots. <laughs> Fountain one more time. And then I might try to go to the, whatchamacallit, the parking garage. Oh, I kind of like how that looks right there. Woo. These guys over here can probably get a shot of their their stuff. Let me see. You gotta get it at an angle. You gotta get these angles, man. Let's see. One, two, three, go. I'm gonna try to get low with it. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. I think that looked good. Oh, let's see how that looks. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. I actually like that. You know what? That might be the, that might be the, uh, <laughs> The favorite one of today. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I actually do like that. It's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. Let's see. Can I get those guys in view? Nope, they're too far. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to make my journey back to my car. I think I just want to, you know, just do a little experiment. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully there's some good photos enough for me to post in this video that you guys can see that this lens is a beast of a lens. Again, for under $400. That is a, oh, look at his ground. Hold on, I didn't even see this. As a photographer, you just see everything. And you're like, ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at this. Let's just take a photo of this. One, two, three. Get a lower shot of it. One, two, three. There we go. Ooh. 
How are you? Good. You? Good. Look at that. Dog. Ooh, got it. Snapper. Look at that. You gotta be, you gotta be quick with it with these photos. Uh, it ain't come out good. <laughs> but you gotta be quick. You gotta be able to point, shoot, point, shoot. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. POV street photography. You gotta. Hoo, huh. Let me stop. I'm, I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So for four hundred dollars, you can actually get it under four hundred dollars. Again, you just gotta keep looking. Keep. I mean, I think the retail price is six hundred dollars for this lens but i ain't pay that and i wasn't gonna pay that you know i like finding my deals so i'm patient enough and i'd be waiting but just keep looking you'll definitely find it and you should definitely pick it up i think it's something that's actually really worth the money like it's a good investment for f 1.8 like i said you could get the g master but if you're a professional photographer and you want to g master quality and you want to spend g master money go ahead and spend g master money but I knew like I'm a videographer, so I'm not gonna use this for everything. So that's why I just couldn't find the logic for me to spend 1200, I think the G Master is, on a lens that I'm gonna use, but not $200 worth use. <laughs> that, no, that much, stop sign, sniper. But it's a beautiful day out. Camera performs really, really well. I definitely love it now. You know, I could do a video as well of like the video side of it. I don't think, I honestly haven't even used this yet for like real life video, video, video work. <laughs> video, video, video work. I haven't. I primarily use this thing for photography so far. I haven't really think I actually put this on yet and actually did a paid client work with this lens yet. So I might do a video about that. I might do like a behind the scenes video showing how good this can be for video as well not just photography really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment subscribe smash the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and put if you didn't like the video put in the comments make a better part two and i'll do that <laughs> if you didn't like the video put that in the comments make a better part two and i will film a part two without further ado hope you guys have an amazing day abiyantu bonjuni <laughs>